was so fascinated by your question, mainly because you went to vote today. So good, good on you for voting. Um, what did you make of the response? Because a couple of people basically saying, well, some yes people are making this argument, so some of these things going to come up. I didn't really like saying that was OK to not be truthful, because I think you trust. That's a position of trust, I think, if you're giving out how to vote. So, yeah, I like Noel's answer. I thought that was good. But, yeah, I think people have to do the right thing, don't they? Yeah, I mean, I suppose you were saying that the woman who was handing out the brochures was actually... She really believed it, though. She believed it. Yeah, no, she absolutely believed that that was going to happen. She was going to lose her house, lose everything that she'd worked hard for. So, but, yeah, I did feel sorry for her because I think, you know, she did believe that and it's not true, I don't think. So. Did you vote together? Um, no, I'm waiting to the <laughs> stitch this up. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. All right. Now, you asked a question and... Um, you are a good Jamara man too. Um, what did you? What did you? Where do you think? What did you make of where the debates at and tonight's discussion? It was interesting, but Mike PK Mike thing is when we wake up on the fifteenth, and if the no does win, I want to be positive and say it's not going to win. What do we look into the eyes of our kids and say? All we want is egalitarianism, and you're going to you're going to seventeen times more likely to go to jail than university, and die 10 years younger. So where's the hope? How can we muscle any hope if the no wins? And yeah, when we've got to fight as hard as we can to get it over the line. Why are you so passionate about this? It's, it's my my people, um, uh, my mob. I, I co-chaired the review of Royal Commission to Death and Custody. And um, when you hug a kid who tried to hang themselves with their T-shirt the night before, what do you do to instill hope? And, you know, if this doesn't get up, you know, I just don't know where I'll get any words for hope from, PK. Now, I'm, 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 I'm making a beeline to the youth. Hi, youth. <laughs> um, your question about accountability I thought was a really good question. Um, we made it a bit broader than just Dan Andrews. We're a national show. But do you feel like... You know, there was an, there was even a dis, there was a suggestion that politicians should be paid more. What did you make of that? I thought it was interesting that they separated it almost into different levels of accountability. We had people talking about federal accountability and then like accountability from the media because I feel like Australian politicians and then the Australian public are so far separated that we almost don't know what's going on there. The general Australian doesn't really know what's going on with the politicians. I feel and what's going on with the money you're paying them. The pay more was definitely interesting. I think the audience also thought that was a very interesting statement. Would but you like to see politicians paid more? <sighs> oh, no. I've like got a lot of eyes on me right now. Um, <laughs> you can take that on notice. You don't have to have an opinion on that. Yeah, I don't, think, I don't know. I'm not sure yet, honestly. I'm not voting yet. Yeah. I, haven't, I haven't paid any taxes yet, so, you know? <laughs> Maybe I'm not ready to... Woohoo! <laughs> I look forward to you paying lots of taxes for my retirement. Um, um, your question was a really interesting one about what happens next if there's a no vote. Melinda McCarthy doesn't want to think about it. Her, I thought her grand final analogy was interesting. What did you think of it? I think that she very much dodged the question and I, don't, and I think that's very inappropriate of the senator and in the nicest way possible, I think, um, you probably could have steered the debate a little bit more towards the question. Oh! Is this why you've got all the badges? Well... I was nice to my elders at this age. Um, but I, I did quite like her grand final analogy and how she tried to sort of make it more relatable to us. The re I, I will explain to you something. Um, she was never going to tell you what they were going to do after the nation voted no, because as soon as a minister concede something like that. That is the only story that will go out. Of course. Yeah. Of course. But, you know, you can always give it a go. <laughs> if you don't have a go, you never get a go. Isn't that what Scott Morrison said? I couldn't agree more. Have a go. <laughs> um, I'm going to have a go. I'm actually just going to say goodnight to you all because it's super late. Thanks for everyone for coming and for the youth of Australia critiquing me. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>